Welcome to Mariel Beats and Beyond. Today we are going to be making another video with the beads that we received from the Potomac Bead Company. We are going to be using some of these flowers that we received from the May bags, and this is going to be some of the beads that we have from the April Treasure bags. We are also going to be using the head pins that we got from this month, and also we have some eye pins that we had from the previous months. We are going to be using some of the beading cups and they're all also if you're keeping up with the treasury box you should have all these materials available. Also we have from this May box we have these ear wires so we are going to be using those as well. This is going to be a very easy project, but it's going to be beautiful. So let's get started. We are going to grab some other head pins. And for this one, so we are going to grab one of our pins and I'm going to want it. I'm going to put it in here just to see. My first bead, I want to be like somewhere in there. So. We're just gonna see. So this, I'm gonna cut it somewhere right here and I'm gonna bend it a little bit so we can see. I apologize if I'm getting off camera. I'm going to be cutting two because we got two earrings. So we have our first two. This will be the next one. So somewhere like that. And I will use another one. That's what I want. I will cut this. Right there, and this one will be right there, and it doesn't have to be perfect. Just an idea, okay? So, we're gonna make the other ones the same, so we can just get this out. This will be the last one. So we are going to find the best way to do this is like if you mark your pliers on where like to have them all the same size. So let me get a marker. So we'll have them just right there. And then we're just gonna put our pliers right at the end. And we're just going to rotate towards us, rotate, and until we touch the plier. There's different ways to do this, so it's up to you. Then you can put your pliers right here. And then just straight this. And then you have your loop. And just continue. There you go. So we had our first one. Same thing. We are going to put up our right where the mark is. And that way our loops are going to be the same size. Until we touch it, the wire, then we just set the tip of the pliers and Bend towards us. And we got our second one. One more. We have the first set, so let's make the other set.
what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna cut a little um 22 gauge wire. So we're just going to put another bead. So bring it towards us, rotate, keep going, bend nose pliers, wrap around, same thing. Cut the excess wire. I don't worry about tucking it in right now. So we're gonna put this bit. And we are going to do the same thing. We hold just the tip of the plier and bend. And rinse and repeat. Rotate. And continue wrapping. Make sure they're the same size. And we're going to close it. And we're going to make two of this. At this point, you can tuck the ends in. You don't want anything sharp. So, right here is this one. And this is custom jewelry, so you don't really have to worry about things being perfect. So make another one. Okay, it's time to assemble our earring. First thing, we need to make sure that our loops are closed. Up, down, up, down, until it touches the wire. If you want to add some glue or a little resin to um, ensure they're not gonna open, that is an option. Say them up, down, up, down. Same thing with this one. We're gonna grab our eye pin. We're gonna open it. And we're gonna insert the large one first the medium and then this small and we want to close it okay we are going to grab our flower and I'm sorry if um, I'm getting out of camera our beating cup and we are going to cut like around there We have the mark of our players that is already fading, but we can still see it. It's all the same process, so. Put a plier in the back. And we want to shape it. We are going to open it and we are going to insert this part like this and we want to close it back there you go and there you have it all we have to do is add our earring hook. We can open it a little bit more. We're going to 
put it in and then we're gonna close it up down up down to close it we have a beautiful pair of earrings and as you can see it's really easy if you get all the treasury boxes you can see like eventually you're gonna be mixing all the materials that you have and you're gonna come with beautiful projects so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i hope it was easy to follow along please don't forget to visit the potomac big company like this video give me a thumbs up tell me what would you like to see in the future until next time, thank you.